Hello and welcome, ladies and gentlemen of the internet, this is Kamikaze Games, and we are playing yet another game from time long gone. Hopefully, if it loads. There we go. Whatever happened to Infogrames? I think they went out of business. So yeah, that's a thing. This is one game that I have played since the beginning of the PS1 era, which means that this is one of the most historic games for the channel. And that is loud. Yep. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's supposed to symbolize something. It probably is. <gasps> Looney Tunes Sheep Raider Bitches! That's right. The game that started it all. This came on the demo disc that my PlayStation 1 came with. It's, um, whichever one it is. I have the thing for emulator right here because my copy of the disc blew up in a very posthumous fashion. It was a sad day when that broke here. Let me check this out. Uh. PlayStation Zone CD Volume 2. It's SLED01724. You can find it on muparadise.com, I'm pretty sure. But we could play this in French, Portuguese, Spanish, or English. Let's just go English for the sake of the audience at home. Memory card does not have a save file. Well, let us just change that right now. New game. I was going to play this on PS2 so you could see my old save files on there, but PS2 does not work um, with PS1 games, and I don't really feel like dragging my PS1 out, so and besides, the game would play very horribly. It would just be a terrible idea to do that in general. Maybe I'll demonstrate it someday somehow. Oh my goodness, here we go. Oh, hell. Oh, man. Bush physics. This is a long intro, I'm just gonna keep silent. Like I have been. Oh, this game soundtrack, but... Play the game. I gotta use this gig to catapult me to superstardom. Now the aim of our game is simple: to steal sheep. <laughs> you will go through a series of levels. At each of those levels, you will have to steal a sheep from Sam Sheepdog and put it in the goal. If you succeed, you may proceed to the next challenge, and so on, until you finally steal the entire flock. 
But, and this is a big but, the sheep must be intact at the end of each level. You'll be disqualified if any of these sheep are missing so much as a thread of wool. Have I made myself perfectly clear? Hmm? Okay, don't panic. I, as a consummate professional, know how important it is to rehearse. This is your big chance, and you don't want to blow it. Besides, I'm the one who explained this game to you, and if you don't do well, how's that gonna make me look? Not so good, that's how. So go ahead, practice! Trying to adjust the audio of the game. As I know I won't remember to change it back when we move on to a different game. Because that's just how I roll. In any case, this game, oh my freaking goodness, I got this for my birthday when I was six. That was in 2000, what? Shit, what year would that be? 2002? Yep, 2002, I think. Unless I suck ass at math. So in any case, this is Sheepdog, and oh my freaking goodness. Come on, don't be a quitter. Yep. This game has been with me since, yep. I first started playing this because of the demo disc. Uh, it took me until I was like 12 to actually win the whole game. Because there's a certain level that I had no idea how to win until I looked up a walkthrough and even then I still didn't know how to beat it so it took me quite the long time to do that and I got really good at the start of the level that's for sure and I got really good at the rest of the game because I'd always play through the game until that level and I'd always be pissed off because I could never beat that level even to this day I struggle to beat the level even though I know what the fuck to do so this is like, um, Monsters, Inc. It has text boxes around the place. Attention! Extended use of this game can drive even the most serious people crazy. That's damn straight, you know? Are you sure you want to play this game? I'm having my second thoughts at this point. Yeah. Oh god, it's loud now. Holy shit, it's loud now. Um... Loud now, brown cow. Um, so, start the game, we gotta cross the white line. So, why don't we just do that? Meet me. Meet me. Well, that was short. Too well. Follow me and I'll explain a few commands. First things first, how to use the camera. Well, okay. Just use the L2 and R2 buttons to move the camera. I broke the game already. I wasn't supposed to be completely in view. Now I'll hide up here. If you want to find me, keep the inside view button pressed down. Howdy. Okay. Oh, right. Um, yeah. Nice going, bub. These commands will come in handy if you want to look around. So this is just the greatest game ever made, as you can tell already. If you want to follow me, and who wouldn't, just go to twitter.com slash kamikaze pizza, or skid row ear pizza, or whatever the fuck my username on Twitter is. Um, yep, I'm going to have to keep quiet because there's a lot of text here, but I will talk... In great length once we get to the next level because it is quiet as a condo, I guess. You can call condo quiet, maybe. If it's got vacancy, maybe. 
Yeah. <laughs> Might I also suggest you use the jump button to take a flying leap? Can I make it? Oh, darn it. Yay. <laughs> oh, I do crack myself up. <laughs> Seriously, though, if you want to be good at this game, you'll have to use the old noggin. Come on, follow me up to the road. Sig Heil. So that was a very good, um... Example of how this game um, really knows where it's coming from. It likes to really draw on the old Looney Tunes 